Hello, photographers. Today I've got 10 Lightroom CC 2019 tips for you in under three minutes. So let's get a timer and get started. On the desktop, if you go into the preferences, you can actually change where Lightroom CC will store the photos. By default, it will store them in your pictures folder. As you can see here, I have mine saved on an external hard drive, this Lacey hard drive right here. Now, tip number two is also right here in preferences, and that is that you can designate a master location for all of your photos that are imported into Lightroom CC, whether they come in from an iPad or your iPhone or a laptop laptop, I have this desktop set to store a copy of all originals at this specified location right here. For tip number three, it's that you can very easily synchronize settings across photos. Let's take this image right here and very quickly just make an adjustment. We're just going to crank up the exposure. Now let's say I wanted to apply that adjustment to all of these other blue photos right here. If I hit command C on my keyboard to copy and then select all of these and hit command V on my keyboard, it pastes that adjustment just like that. The next thing you can do very easily is share your photos to a web gallery. All I need to do is right click on the album, choose share to web, set my options here, and then hit continue. And once I do, I get this link up at the top. And if I click that, it takes me to a web gallery with all of those photos in it. Now, tip number five is that you can very easily edit the metadata of a group of photos. Let's say I want to take all of these red photos right here, and I want to put title thumbnail portrait. Now, every single one of these will have the title thumbnail portrait. So just select your group and apply your metadata changes you're good to go. Moving on to the mobile version, by default, when you import photos into the mobile version, the full size originals are sucked up into Adobe's cloud and you're left with smart previews on your device. But let's say you want to keep the full size RAWs on your device. All you have to do is go to the album and tap the three dots on the side there and toggle this store locally option on and it will pull those back down from the cloud onto your device. Now, did you know also, if your mobile device happens to have a keyboard, then Lightroom Mobile does support keyboard shortcuts. On the iPad, if I hold down the command key, I can see the shortcut available here. And if I go in to look at an image and hold it again, I can see all of these other available shortcuts. When on your mobile device, you may be looking at the thumbnails of the image in the grid view and want to change the information that's overlaid on the image. All you have to do is two finger tap to cycle through the available overlay options until you find the one that you like. Now you probably already know that you can go into the settings and tell Lightroom Mobile to automatically import all of your photos and videos. But an additional thing you can do is specify an album as the one that those videos and photos will be imported to automatically. And finally, for the last tip, if you go under settings and then choose sharing options, you can choose to include a watermark and you can actually customize the position of that watermark, the text, the color, the size, and the opacity. And with that turned on, whenever you export an image, it will have that watermark applied to it just like this one will right here. So there's your 10 Lightroom CC 2019 tips in under three minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about Lightroom CC, See whether it's desktop or mobile version, let me know down in the comments. And also share your favorite Lightroom tips down in the comments for me. And then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And then get out there and take some damn photos.